Today's episode of Daily Scuba News is sponsored by our Teespring store, so click on the link pinned in the comments below. everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scuba News. So it is estimated that 100 million sharks are still being killed each year for their fins and of course their meat. Mm -hmm. So talks are now underway with several countries to put more sharks and rays under protection status in the wildlife trade rules. So these talks are said to include the mako sharks and the little known rhino ray. Uh, before I'm going to go any further, welcome to our new studio. Joking, we are filming in the shop temporarily <laughs> as our brand new spanking studio you know, it's being built. Yeah, why are you here? Get, get, get to work, Mario. <laughs> I don't know what called you Mario. Anyway, these rhino rays are also called wedge fish and guitar fish, and they are called rhino rays due to their elongated snouts. Um, and as of recording, they are known as the most endangered marine fish group on the planet, according to recent uh, scientific assessments. <laughs> uh, so like Mark just said, countries are now trying to prevent this species of rays and sharks, you know, from being wiped out from existence. Yeah, so rhino rays are said to be worth a thousand dollars per kilo. That's quite expensive. That is. Um, so it basically makes them one of the most highly valued species in the shark fin trade. Um, hence why they've been hunted to near extinction already. So hopefully all our governments can sort something out and soon to uh, protect the rhino rays and the other sort uh, yeah, of shark species. Governments coming together always works out, doesn't it? <clears throat> Anyway, these rays aren't the only sharks slash rays to be added to the protection list. A further 18 sharks and rays are looking to be added to the list, which is just plain awesome. Uh, if the rhino rays and other sharks and other ray species get added to the protection list, this would mean that countries would have to ensure that all the continued trade is sustainable and also legal. Yeah, so... It's a win-win. Yeah, basically it looks like things are moving in the right direction. Uh, let's just hope that they can get these sharks and rays added to the list soon so they can no longer be overfished into extinction. Uh, but what do you think about the steps? What do you think the steps should be taken to sort of protect these sharks? It's, it's all well and good having like a bit of paper that says don't hunt these sharks it's actually stopping people from yeah, doing it. Yeah it's gonna be the illegal it's all well and good sustainable and the legal trade route but a, a lot of these are taking the illegal trade route away so because yeah, it's just so expensive yeah, knows, um, or is it a little too late uh, let us have a chat about it in the comments uh, if you enjoyed this video then why not give it a like share it with your diving buddies and whilst you're at it you might as well smash that little bell icon to stay up to date with all things scuba thank you for watching and as always Safe diving. So Bye. It's that time of year again. That's right, the Diver Awards are back, people. Now, this year is a little different for us. We're, of course, up for Dive Retailer of the Year. So if you love our website, think our customer service team is plain awesome, and of course, enjoy our advice and review videos, we would love to have your vote. And as well, thanks to our Mark One Dive Torch, we are now in the Product of the Year category. So if you have purchased the Mark One Dive Torch, or or if you've just fallen in love with it, then please feel free to vote for that as well. To cast your vote, just click on the link in the comments. Thank you. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.